Hello, this is a little addendum to the look at camera video I wanted to throw in because when I was showing the roll stuff I was saying it only goes in one direction and that's not necessarily the best uh, the best solution you might want to be able to have things go into the negative values so the way we're going to get around that is in our normalized distance when we're getting the current distance alpha we get the target distance needed as we normalize it to a range but then we clamp it so what we can do is clamp it again as a separate branch, clamp it to negative one and positive one, drag that off, promote that to current distance. Um, oh God, what will we call it? Like, um, um, like flippable, like inverse, invertible. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. All right. Guys, come up with a better name for your variable than I just did, because, you know, on the fly, not so great. Uh, current distance invertible. Um, so now we have that value being set as well. That's happening when we normalize the distance as well. And in our a camera roll, we can just kill off that current distance alpha and put it into the invertible. So we're going to alert between zero and the max roll. Um, let's see if that works. What what we might need to do, I'll show you what we might need to do. We need to multiply the float by float and go negative one so that that 45 degrees that we've set goes in there. So I think, but it might actually just work anyway because once it gets past zero, it might do it. So I'm gonna leave that off for the moment just to find out. So boom, we hit that. Oh, 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 oh. did this without checking. Uh, target actor. Play a pawn target. There, that's what we want. Save it. Cleared. Go for the camera. So it's at maximum roll there. Well, it's gone 45. Let's bring the Halsey back. Speed up, Charlie. All right, so it's going to come back. It's going to, is it going to invert? Yes, it's going to invert. So that's kind of cool in a way. I mean, not perfect, I guess, because it's like doing way too much. But if I get nice and close, it starts to roll back. Now, let's say we wanted to do something else cheeky with it. Let's say that we want to take the max roll. Uh, let Actually, let's see what that does. Because it might mean that we start out with a crazy roll. It might hopefully end up doing the same thing. But no, 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 no. It's going to push us all the way to 90, which is kind of crazy. So let's say that we want that to... When it's at its furthest distance, we want the maximum roll. But when it's at its closest distance, we want it to roll in the other direction by about half. So we could set that to 0.5. So we'll go promote that to a variable and call it near roll multiplier. And we'll make that positive, make that public. And you can test that out. So we switch to our look at camera, right? So we're kind of there as it gets closer, it rolls in. And as it gets within that range, hmm, yeah, it's not going to invert it as much. Uh, hang on, no, I think we've, I think we've broken it. I think we've broken it. I think we need to leave that off because otherwise it won't go in the other direction because it's the alpha that's coming in is negative one, so it's actually pushing back in the other direction. So that's what we want. And then once it gets to about halfway through that, once it gets to the close distance, it's going to roll back in the other direction. So I suppose we don't really need to divide it that much um, once it gets close. So changing the FOV and the roll and the interpolation on it kind of works pretty well. If this thing was moving a lot faster, let's see what happens when I make the horse go like 7,000 times faster. Character movement, let's go. What's max walk speed? Max swim speed. Max walk. Max step height, max walk speed. Da, 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 da. 
max warp speed. Let's make that something like 2000. Oh my god. Max warp speed crouch. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. So now. Also, starts to go really, really. It'll end up going very fast. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's going super fast. Whoa! Crazy horse! Whoosh! 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 And as it gets away, it's gonna punch into the roll. As it comes in, it's gonna blend back out into the field of view. <laughs> well, so the thing to bear in mind is that what I've got happening here with the roll is pretty disgusting. Um, you're gonna make people way sick. Need to publicize that max roll. And let's set that to something more reasonable like five degrees or something like that. So it's a really, really subtle effect. Take that block. Whoa! Crazy horse. So there's a much more subtle roll in it, and as it starts to get closer, it's going to interpolate out in the field of view for that one. And I think that works pretty, pretty darn well. Whoa, strafing horse. <laughs> cool. Um, so I hope that clarified uh, the roll stuff. Whether or not you want to use it, it's up to you. It's a bit of a kind of a uh, sickening effect, but you, you know, use judiciously. Or, indeed, used for something completely different. That inverse... Um, what did I call it? The invert... Invertible distance um, that can go between negative 1 and, uh, and, and 1 here, piped out to a separate variable, can be useful because you might want those inverse values as well. So, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Peace. Bye.